A very good evening to you, New England. I'm Justin Michaels. One day after six Baltimore police officers were charged in the death of Freddie Gray, thousands of people marched through the city for what organizers called a victory rally. Take a look now. Live pictures from Baltimore. The crowd eventually converged on Baltimore City Hall for a massive rally. This after Maryland State's attorney determined that Freddie Gray's arrest was illegal and also unjustified and that Gray's fatal injuries occurred as a result of bouncing around in a police van while handcuffed and shackled. Back here in New England, dozens of people also took to the streets today in Boston to stand with Baltimore. Our Alicia Rodriguez is live right now in Boston. Alicia, good evening to you. Also in Boston today, civic leaders met to educate young people about ways to protest peacefully. Our Glenn Marshall was there and has details now. In other news here tonight, and some exciting news from across the pond, it is a girl if you haven't heard yet. Britain has a new princess right now, and William and Kate now have a second child. But we still don't know that little girl's name. Kelly Cobiea has more. Prince William. Back in New England, let's talk early warning weather now, and there's a big warm-up coming here. Meteorologist Tim Kelly is here now with a check of that forecast. Back in the news here right now in a little more than a week after an 18 year old was stabbed and killed on a basketball court in Brockton, Massachusetts. People in the city there are trying to reclaim their streets and they marched for peace today. Our Michael Rosenfield is live in Brockton. Michael, good evening. And from Brockton north to Saugus, Massachusetts now, flames shoot through a roof of a bar and grill on Route 1 on one of the busiest sports viewing days of the entire year. The fire broke out at the Sully Seas Sports Bar and Grill. Happened around 9 o'clock this morning. It was contained mostly to the roof, also the front door area of that business. No other buildings were damaged, though. Sully Seas is closed tonight, and the cause of that fire is right now under investigation. And political news, Decision 2016 coverage. And just days after he announced he was running for president, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders' fundraising efforts are already taking off. Sanders says he has raised $1.5 million since he launched his campaign on Thursday. He also says he's received contributions from 35,000 donors and more than 10,000 people have signed up on his website. Sanders also made campaign stops today in New Hampshire. <laughs> One week after that devastating earthquake hit Nepal, more than 7,000 people are now confirmed dead. And if that number there isn't staggering enough for you, they also say more than 14,000 people have been affected by the quake in total. Last Saturday's 7.8 magnitude earthquake was the worst to hit Nepal in 80 years. In other news here today, local and federal agencies gathered in Quincy, Massachusetts for a training exercise on potential disasters on the water. The drill was designed to get the crews ready for a possible plane crash on the ocean that could lead to a mass casualty event. All right, if you haven't had your fill of winter just yet, really? You still have a little more time here in New England. More than a half dozen ski areas in New England are still open uh, because of all that snow we got. It's been more than a decade since New Hampshire's Wildcat Mountain made it into May. They're doing it right now. And also Killington is setting its sights on operating, get this, until June 1st. Let's talk to a surfing and skiing weatherman over there, meteorologist Tim Kelly. Hey, Tim, uh, that, uh, that's a lot of snow, and of course, that's a long time to be skiing. June? Have you ever skied in June? There, uh, no, I've skied in late May. All right, so there's a loggerhead turtle in Florida. This turtle's actually named after pop singer Miley Cyrus, and the turtle actually went back to the ocean today. 120 pounds, is that a big turtle? It's found in early March in the upper Florida Keys, and it had an intestinal problem of some kind, so rescuers noticed that the turtle's rear end was gyrating, and then they named the turtle Miley, because of course we all know Miley Cyrus likes to do those dance moves called twerking. After making a full recovery, she was released off the Florida Keys today to cheers and celebration. There goes Miley. Look at all those people. All right, that's all our time this half hour. I'm Justin Michaels. You're watching NECN, and this, as always, is New England's news station.